Santa Claus is dishing out the gifts right now, but who is going to get the biggest gift of them all come the end of the season? Who's going to win the league? Will it be Celtic? Will it be Rangers? Who's going to have a Scottish Premiership title underneath their tree? Come May. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. First of all, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But only one of these teams will be having a new year. And it will be decided on the old firm game. Because whoever loses that will be behind in the league. They will be feeling miserable. And I'm sure we will have a very unhappy set of fans for Glasgow. Well, of course, Rangers get gifts throughout the season. No penalties against them and a shit ton for them. It's a beautiful year for Rangers like it is every other year since 1872. All those decisions, fantastic. Get it right up, Celtic fans. There's a cartel some people, there's only one team at the board. Some people would argue since 2012, but... Now... You know, you can't have you can't have it both ways, right? Either Rangers have had decisions for 151 years, or it's been 11. I know Celtic fans try to pretend we're 11 years old, but surely it fits more in their favour that Rangers have had decisions for more than a century and a half. Why would the referees favour an 11-year-old club? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a bit of revenge going out there for 11-year-olds. But anyway, let's anyway, talk th about it. Anyway, this poll definitely favours Rangers. 59%. Over a 1,000 votes. 59%. Almost 6 out of 10 people believe that Rangers will be the Scottish League champions come the end of the season. Rangers will be lifting title 56 and. I think if this poll was done two months ago, it would have been lopsided in Celtic's favour. But it's amazing what, like, um, you know, a few g six, seven games can do. I mean, we've literally seen a massive turnaround where Rangers have went from being eight points behind in the league to technically being a point in front if they win their game in hand. So, yeah, no, um, football in Scotland we thought was dead this season. We thought it was all over. But it's, it's, not, it's not over now. It's, it's back. It's alive. Big Phil came in with his polished dome and he went, no, nah. and he's put the foot down and it's back alive. Big Phil's got to get a lot of credit for this. Not just Rangers players. I mean, what about the manager? Because if Beal was still here, it would be about... I know Celtic probably could have still dropped points, but what about Rangers, wouldn't they? Rangers probably would be at the, at the Europa League, at the Conference League. Sitting fourth or something. And they, and they wouldn't have won a cup. Wouldn't have won a cup. Would Michael Beal's side have beat Aberdeen? Well, based on what Aberdeen's side turned up that day, I think fucking <sighs> David Martindale's side would have beat them. But anyway, let's get into the comments. There's quite a lot of them. 79 in total should be fun. Hopefully we can keep it friendly, guys. Hopefully we can keep it in the Christmas spirit and the, the, the giving mood and then not re resort to, like, um, deed clubs and child molestation and shit like that. But let's find out. I'm not going to... I'm not counting on it. Uh, Ryan Longridge... Said, listen, it's a difficult one. I myself am Rangers, but more than aware of what Celtic can do. But Rangers are in a much better place than I thought our league is poor anyway, so it's only football. Merry Xmas, everyone. Stay safe. Holla, holla. Blue heart emoji, green heart emoji. What a comment here. We've started it off well. You know, Ryan Longridge showing that it's only a game of FIFA. We all bleed. Green and blue at the end of the day. So, well, partly. We, we, we all bleed Aberdeen. Right? We all bleed Aberdeen, buddy. Um, nah, good comment to start it off. It uh, was, but I'm sure 78 of the other comments will be sectarianism. So, uh, let's but, go. But uh, Ryan Longridge here sitting on the fence, not really giving an answer. He's not. I wonder know. who he voted for. Because it's hard to tell based on that comment. Even though Celtic have went to Mince, right? You do feel like they could I, turn I, it I around. Can't, I can't sit here and say, like, oh, it's a guarantee Rangers will win the league. I can't. I think Rangers are in a good position, but at the end of the day, Rangers have hit their stride right now under Clement. I, I still think Celtic are favourites for the simple reason is we don't know how Rangers are going to react to a bad result. And I just don't think Rangers are playing... I don't think Rangers are blowing teams away. No, they're not. I, they're, they're winning, which is good. That's what you want, obviously. I've commented on this poll. I'll voice my proper opinion when we get to it. I think it'll be interesting to see how this Rangers team responds if they lose the old firm game. I'd be, that's what that's what I would like to see. Well, yeah, don't, ne don't necessarily want to see it, but I think it'd be interesting to see how they bounce let's back. Flip the coin. How are they going to respond? Do they lose the old firm? <laughs> Barriers and tarriers. Uh, and uh, Santa will be getting booed. Whammy Bammer said, Observations are Jairs are playing well. Good manager. Celtic are inconsistent and in transition. Could be a close call. Bunch of shite bags so far. Someone put your neck on the line. Is it fucking Celtic or Rangers? SS Lazio's going to put his neck on the line. You don't, you don't have a name like that. And... Rangers have a proper manager since Walter, in my opinion. Rangers for the title 100%. There you go. We've got someone 100. who's... 
Who's going for it? Wait, is that Nicola Sturgeon? That is. There you go. Um, James, hail, hail, the champions. Merry Christmas to all Celtic fans over the world. What about Rangers fans? Do they not deserve a Merry Christmas? Yeah, we don't deserve a Merry Christmas, apparently. Uh, Clem Fandango, all those fans that give the SPL billions of dollars for TV contract. What? I put billions of dollars. No, maybe, maybe a few odd tenor. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands, maybe. Uh, Dennis Kilgour says, Merry Christmas from a Rangers fan. Big thumbs up. Gary2494 with Morelos. No outdated picture there. You can hail us when we lift it. Have a great Christmas and no fighting with Santa Claus, for fuck's sake. I don't know, even though this is where Celtic are playing at the moment, Santa would probably knock them out. I probably would. It's like the head clean. Uh, Maniac says, Never defeat it, always cheat it. We are the people. 56 GB. Big up Santa. Looks what? like Rangers there. Yeah. Liam Gavs, Merry Christmas, Fog Fitba. But unfortunately, your beloved Rangers have peaked too early. Well, hold on, my beloved Rangers. I don't have a beloved Rangers. I need no, no jambo there. I know I said earlier that Rangers have peaked right now. They, they've peaked with what Clement has got at his disposal, which is an injury strong team. If this guy can get Rangers playing with a team that we all thought was pissed two months ago and also. And spend all his Christmas money in I, January? I know, but if, if he hanks. No, well, if Clement is backed. If they sign Lawrence Shankland, they win the league. So there you go. There's my fucking conundrum. Go and get Lawrence. What if Celtic sign Lawrence Shankland? Lay down the lot of them. I think the game's a bogey. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, Pato2200. Given that Rangers have a reservoir of refereeing decisions to call on, Rangers must be favourites. Whatever. It's shortcoming. Celtic have the best squad in... S- Cycland. Cycland. And should win the league. But it's not harmonious camp. Rangers through the players... Ender, a bus, and now they will throw him under a train. His appointment is the salient. See, before we go any further, though, do Celtic have the best squad in Scotland? Because all we have well, been hearing this season... Let's just finish this comment, we'll see. Symptom of the malignancy of incompetence and nepotism at the heart of the club. Rogers has lost the dressing room, and then when that happens, it is when, not if. The board waited too long to act regarding Lennon. It needs to act now. All right, well, what I would say is when the board acted with Lennon, were they not, like, fucking... 45 points <laughs> behind? Yeah. I mean, Rogers is in front, all right, technically played a game more, but you can't sack Rogers. It would be the harshest sacking I've ever seen. As much as I think the guy's overrated as fuck, I, I, you, you can't sack him. No, you can't. Even if he loses the old firm game, I don't think no. you can sack him. If Celtic sack, but I think if he, I think, I think you can start making a case. No, but imagine, if, imagine, him. imagine if Celtic sacked Rodgers and they still lost the league. There would be so many questions of why did you sack a guy who was leading the league and had won so many trophies with the club? I piss off if they sack him and then win the league. No one's going to bring that up. They're going to be like, no, you made the I right said decision. if they don't win the league. All right, okay. Um, you say that when Celtic have the most penalties of anyone this season. That's ironic. You should learn to type before you dig at other clubs and just admit Celtic are playing shit under Rodgers currently. They're playing shit. They're playing fucking dog shit. Do they do they the best squad in Scotland? I mean, all we hear about how they've not recruited well and that the, the people off the bench like Mikey Johnston, Forrest, are shite. Do they? I think they have the best squad in Scotland, but I don't think they're playing like the best squad. Oh, come on. The, the, the Celtic players under Ange... If you were picking a combined team, it would be more or less... Ange is away. Ange is dead. Greg Taylor looked like fucking Roberto Carlos. Now he looks like <laughs> Moshni. So, I mean, we can't... Ange is done. Right? Hold on, Greg Taylor wish he once ever looked like Roberto Carlos. Dessers under Clement looks like R9. See under Beal. He looked like a Make-A-Wish kid. We we just need to acknowledge that when managers go, that's just the reality it is. We can't we can't keep hyping these players up. Oh, look at Kyogo. Kyogo is by far the best player. So are we supposed to say Kyogo's pish now because he's playing shite under Rogers? I'm not saying he's pish. I'm the way I'm not, when. Well, that's what I mean. But you're saying because Ange has gone now, we can't keep looking back at. The... We've got to look at current form. No, you're saying who's got the best squad. I think if the Celtic players play at their best, they've got a better team than Rangers. Well, it's just. No, I'd say it's very close. Oh, very close, my whole. No, better goalkeepers. Rangers have a better defence. Th- Rangers have a better goalkeeper. Um, defence. Pete would say... Hold on, Pete would say Carter Fickers. No, is- Carter Fickers would walk. 
Carl Fickers would walk into the based Rangers on what, team, based on last, the rest of the team is better. Nah, based on last season, people were saying Alistair Johnson was better yeah, than he's Ranfitt, he's, Jan he's, fucking, he's fucking shite now. Nah, but based on last season... Look at centre back up. Nah, but last he, se- Lager B. Elkin. But last season, he was, people say he's better than Tav, and he was an upgrade on your Rangers. Rangers have conceded eight goals in the league this season, so I have to go with Rangers as the better team defensively, even though I don't rate them defensively. Midfield, I think if, if you look at Cal McGregor, Hitati and... O'Reilly, I think if they're playing, no, no. I think if they're playing at their peak, they're better than what Rangers have. But they're not. And up front, I think if Maida, Kyogo, and Abada are playing at their best, it's better than Rangers is front. But maybe so we're talking about if they're playing, but they're not under Rogers. No one's played at their best. They're all mince. No, you ask- John Lundstrom has come in uh, under Clement, and he's been the best midfielder in the league. Easily. No, you ask who's got the better squad. All right, let's see. Henri and Bergkamp are up front, but they're both playing pish. Right? Uh-huh. And, and, and another team has fucking Kevin Kyle and Kyle Larfay up front, but they're actually banging no, in no, goals. No. Am I supposed to turn around and say, I, the, the King, Kevin Kyle and Kyle Larfay are better strikers your because argument, they're playing better? Your argument is more who's got the better starting 11 because you're talking about players at their peak. Fucking O'Reilly and Kyogo are going to be starting. Not, I, I'm talking squad. Celtic, oh, hold on. Celtic's depth I, is non existent. I, I think both of the depths are poor. Yeah, I mean, but- Rangers are bringing on Scott fucking right. Actually starting him in a European final. What's that all about? I know it was two years ago, but still. Anyway. Ah, well, he's on carts twice. I think he? it's close. I think it's close. Brian, Brian McPherson. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. The old teddy bears. Aye. I agree with that. P.S. Steve. Celtic will come strong again. Strong? Strong. Strong. Kyle goes about to hit four. Ah. Based on what? A shitey goal that Livingston should have defended, but didn't. I mean, come on. Uh, Lackmeister. Dodgy pen for Tab. Warning. And offside for any Celtic goal. No bookings for Sev Cunts are okay. Yes, it's all corrupt, we know. Move on. What do you mean? What Celtic goal was offside? Uh, I don't know, but all of them against Rangers will be offside. The mighty Celtic come on the hoops, i.e. Ireland, black flag in there. No Palestine flag, but we do have a couple of four-leaf clovers. Well, wait, I've got a three-leaf Three and a four. four. Uh, Does that mean you win in scratch cards if you get a three and a four in the day match? I, I don't know. Anyway, treble for the Glasgow Ra- Ross, no, no, no. I, I disagree. It's going to be a quad. Oh, Celtic kid, laugh, 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 laugh. Well, I tell you what, I fancy Rangers chance of treble more than Celtics. <laughs> Aye. Uh, Mr. Nice, everyone knows it, but the moon howling shark infested waters of the beasts from the east. <laughs> David Courtney, laugh, laugh, laugh. User, first time for everything. Wait, hold on, though, no, right? Before we move on, is a treble really out the question, right? Because they've already won the League Cup. You can certainly make a case that they're favourites for the league title. And therefore, if they're favourites for the league title and currently the best team in Scotland, if they're currently playing better than Celtic, then you'd have to make them favourites for the Scottish Cup. I wouldn't say a treble for Rangers this season is out of the question. No, it's not. It's it's without reason. See, if I was a bookmaker and I was given odds, I wouldn't be given any more than, like, three to one. No. I think there's a good chance here. I tell you what, I think there's more chance of Rangers completing a treble than Celtic doing the double. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I'm not right. We won't count the League Cup. If we're, if we're looking at the two remaining domestic trophies, I'd say there's more chance of Rangers winning I'd say so. Yeah, based so, off cur- it's all about the current form for me. But if, some, but, but if someone says Celtic's going to do the double, no one would do la- You wouldn't get this. You wouldn't get five laughing emojis. No. But why is Rangers... Now that's for Celtic, kid. He's going to obviously laugh that up, man. No, if you said kid. if you said two months ago Rangers are doing the treble, like, I, I, I would have agreed with these laughing emojis, I, but... I, no, I agree. Now it seems like a, a, a doable task. Ross Norville going for the treble number eight. Don't let yourself down with new club nonsense. We would never sell our club for a pound. Treble of runner-up medals, more like... Well, they've already got a winner's medal with the League Cup, so that's not... That banter's that, that part, that part that, that part is pish. That part is pish. fly here. Uh, still hot enough to be beat using your own backyard with no fans. It will be another Glasgow Derby victory for Celtic December 30th. <sighs> I don't know. See that See that game? I don't think any Rangers fans hurting over that. I think once Bill left and Clement took over, I mean, I, I forgot about that game. Tell you what, is there many Celtic fans still loving it? Yeah, yo. I know you brought it up here, but I, I, I don't recall Celtic fans going. Ah, who cares if we're thrown away an eight-point lead? We're st- we still beat them in, in their backyard. Yo, every, every defeat hurts, but at the end of the day, it's irrelevant now. The league is in Rangers' hands. It, it's not like that defeat uh, hurt more than Celtic. If front, anything, man. I think that defeat was a good thing. It got Bill closer to the door. Aye. Same with the Aberdeen result. 
New club, one club since 1888 with unbroken history and real trophies, unlike your club that died in 2012. Now, you see, some people would argue you would rather the history broke, to be fair. Aye, aye, uh, I, I would, I would. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that for another day. That's a, definitely. It's been pretty clean so far. It's, Let's it's keep it one eight eight. Just the, the the sheer number that's going on there at Celtic Football Club. What big job new? Or is that the year they were fine? New it? company, you mean? I'd rather be a new club than a club who said they were a, a separate entity to avoid paying victims of sexual abuse. They were a separate entity. I mean, is that not what Rangers are claiming? No, I, I think that's what he's on about. Like, both, both the old firm did this. They're both fucking shady as fuck, right? Let's be honest, man. No, but see, I, for no, that. I don't want to talk about child molestation on Christmas Day, right? But see, at the end of the day... Well, let's not. Let's move on. Well, let me just wrap it up. See see, ra- see the fact that Rangers, who actually said this to some some victims and said, oh, we're separate until we can't pay it, that's fucking disgraceful. I'll call it out. I'm not going to pretend because I support Rangers. That's fucking brilliant. Cause I'm not sick in the head. How many? How many? Uh, how many small businesses did Rangers fucking put? Out? I mean, the, the face painter. He probably got. He probably got laid off, didn't he? No, but in all seriousness, like just because you support a club doesn't mean you back everything it does, man. I mean, if you're a Celtic fan and you and you're morally correct, you you know what the the club did was wrong. Yeah, Rangers fans can joke about it, but let's not beat around the bush. It's fucking sick. So you think they should take that war? Why don't they just give them the war chest? Because they ain't spending it on players. <laughs> Fucking may as well. No, seriously. That's what they're saving it for. Gab Barber says Sevco fans from back under their rock until the league goes from their reach and we won't hear from them for months. Funny how they only try and act bold when they think they might win something or have a slim chance of winning something. What what do you want us to do when we're 11 points behind, (laughs) pretend we're going to win? Can't wait for you to get Fat Boy back, Morelos, Red Card at Paradise, EO. Wouldn't hear a word from the Rangers if we got Jota back, boy, silenced them for fun. Yeah, Jota was a good player. I mean, Joe, oh, it's a good player, like, but... Look at that guy, I get four thumbs up, because I'm the man. Big Stevie Cool, whoever wins in January will most likely win the league. Do you agree with that? So if Rangers lose in January, you're fucking conceding oh, it? I, I, well, I've, I've, I've kind of... Will most likely win the league. Uh, uh, why, 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 why? SPL, Celtic, Scottish women's pit, the Jairs. Right, there's no need to give a mention here to the, the women's league. We don't give a shit about it. Right, no. Let's just keep it real. All right. Celtic could do a hundred in a row in that, and I. You wouldn't lose an ounce of sleep. No, I don't even know who's. I don't even know who's won the titles. Nah, I don't know why I was measuring sleep in ounces, but you wouldn't lose a second of sleep. An ounce of sleep. Um, Christopher <laughs> nine know, four four, four nine. In here that would. Sevco are in with a shout for title number two. Far and penalties will help them for sure. Of course it will, big man. Remember all the Mason uh, refs? They're in my back pocket. Patrick McCauley stealing yourself for nothing. Base Scotsman, haha, no baller, Pacific Shelf 595, LTD. That's a new club. Wrong, you mean Title 56, that's what the record books will say when we win it, we are the people. Ross Milton, I don't think Rangers will win the treble, I think they will win the quadruple. There's Ross Milton showing some confidence there. Ah, he fucking is, just like his wee smile emoji picture. We would never sell a club for a quid, stay off the glue, not a chance, you will be lucky with just one trophy this season. Ross Milton, sack the board. What's your thoughts on Rangers getting sold for a pound? It's no idea. Does it bother it? you, no? But they're not. But no. But then usernames like this wouldn't they exist if they'd ever got sold for a pound. Yo, it was a shit. <laughs> fucking. It's embarrassing Rangers football. Why don't you buy them? I don't know. Didn't have a pound then. Fuck me, pound. No, hold on. You talk about tin pot clubs in Livingston. Livingston's never been sold for a pound. <laughs> Who'd pay a pound? Fuck me, you need to reel yourself in there. Pay that's 50, embarrassing. I pay 50 bob for fucking Livingston. I think that's worse than any of Celtic's history. Imagine being sold for a quid. All right, you're really in. No, I mean, I, that's actually embarrassing when you think about it. People like this are mocking you every day. We would never sell a club for a pound. Aye, well, he's on the fucking glue, isn't he? I know, but it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> Yeah, but what are they worth now? It's irrelevant. Are you going to buy them now? No, I'm not going to buy them now, but I mean, it's irrelevant. Jonah, 781-56, incoming. Fucking hell. David Courtney, we got a wee laughing emoji with a shite. Number two, 56 tab. <laughs> 66, 56 tax revenue statements, more like. Uh, yeah, they... How many times have we heard that 56 incoming? Keep dreaming, pal, keep dreaming. I mean, how many times? It's not been that many times, because it was only two years ago they were doing 55. Yeah, 
54 incoming, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're making it sound like... You know, it would have been 55 incoming because it would have been on 54. I'm quoting him, man. Big Jim Bob, right? He's talking about Celtics 54. How many of them were tainted? They got, they got one gifted via Skype. Via satellite. Dane Rogers, you say 55, you don't even know your own history. You've died, so you're a new club. But if you want to claim, you are the same. Still number 55 because you shared the league with Dunfermline. So 54 and a half. Dunfermland? Who the fuck's Dunfermline? Nah, he's dumb fuck. I mean, I don't know. Dunfermline, does he mean? I think that's who he means. Uh, record books say 55. Go check it out. 54 and a half because you shared the league with Dunfermline. First season of Scottish League, so 54 and a half. 30th will be another great day for a Hun scalping. It was Dumbarton. It was Dumbarton, you wallop. Well, hold on. I mean, it could have, that looks like a mixture of fucking Dunfermline and Dum. It looks more like Dunfermline to me, to be fair. Yeah. That was the old Rangers, 1872-2012, and their new club has only got one title to show for it. We would never sell our club for a quid. He's back. 100%, pal. Sure, we don't need to check out. You lot folded. We all know what happened. Even you. History cannot be erased. Someone buddy. said the other day, oh, who cares if FIFA and UEFA acknowledge Rangers as a current club? We all know they died. Ah, who cares no, if FIFA and UEFA? <laughs> no, but see FIFA and UEFA, right? What about all the other clubs that actually did die and are completely forgotten about? Why is Rangers the only team to get an, exce- get an exception? Did we, did we pay them off or what money? The point? Did, I, did, did, did someone go up to Big Seb Blatter's fucking front door and place down a pound with the Queen's head on it? I mean, who cares what UEFA and FIFA think? As long as Patrick in Glasgow, who's never actually been to Ireland, believes that Rangers are dead, then that's, oh, all, that's, that's, that's all I need that, to That's know. all that matters. That's all that matters. Um, hey, Patrick. Andy Anderson says, Love when you cry and say, Well, only second title. Think we will bite. FIFA president says different guys. Step bladder. Is he still the president? No, no, I'm talking about back in the day, 2012. You need to check. Ask any football authorities, media, Google. Not one will say one title. I'll say 55. So every other person in the world is wrong. Pevco FC fans are right. Get to fuck. That was the company, not the club. So no matter if you say it a thousand of times, it's still 55 titles. Go support Kid D Fiddler FC. Paul Mooney, nope, it's still two. You cheated your way to titles. God knows how much cheating went on. I think we're just uh, trekking in horse shite right now. Was it cheating, I? It's signing players with money they didn't have, is that? No, but what's he on about not still two? What's he, what's he, mean, what's he mean by not? There's only one. If he's counting since 2012, there's only one, one title. Yeah, but do you not think there's a lot of money wandering and cheating shite going on and, like... In football, especially Premier League. Manchester City, yep. I mean, if Rangers cheat at their ways to titles, then... Or, or what PS... How's it any different to like what PSG are doing at League 1? Unlimited amount of money. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't no different. And maybe Rangers were paying money they didn't really have or couldn't afford or whatnot, but... I, I think it's hard to draw the line what's cheating or not. It is, it is hard to draw the line on it. We can never draw the line for sure. Let's just move on. Why does this channel hate Celtic so much? Because we're dirty orange bastards. Let's move on. It's an unbiased question. It is an unbiased question. Just asking who's going to win the league. Let's just ask who's going to win the league. I mean, I'd, I'd still slightly give the nod to Celtic somehow. Am I being unbiased? It's not hate. It's just a bit, it's just a bit of banter. All the best to everyone at Christmas and your new year, except Ranger supporters. I think you mean accept. Do you mean accept or accept? Accept. Accept Rangers supporters on this poll, potentially. Sean Fien. Fien? Fien? Sean Fien? Sean Fien. Yen. Jen Beam. Celtic forever. Sevco down the river. Hayden. Celtic won it. Who Rangers? What? Glasgow Celtic won it. Who Rangers? We on it. Who fucking Rangers? Rangers are that team that are actually... Two points behind you, a game in hand. Hail, hail, Sevco got no chance at winning the league. No chance. I mean, come on. That's, that's, that's harsh. Sevco are not a football club. I just can't find any trophies there. I've won or at the bookies for the game on the 30th clowns. Can somebody, yeah, these guys speak fucking... Michael nice. Hoy. Celtic are too big and rich and they will just spend money in January. Over 100 million. Poor wee team for giving 080 million. The big frog has no chance. Can't wait until the derby going in to be 6 nothing. <laughs> Hope you're right. I'd settle for a 1-0. Not Hold fair. on here, a hundred million in January. They won't even spend five. 
Fucking hang your head, mate. I, you know, it's not very nice, though, that Celtic fans are making fun of poor teams, considering their whole team is built on poorness. And they're, they're opening their doors as poverty. we speak on fucking Christmas Day to pay, to give poverty. And I mean, that it's very hypocritical comments like that. Gary Lyle, Celtic will give Rangers a shot of being top of the league for four days, then another scalping will be due. How? Because both Celtic and Rangers play before the... Ross County and Dundee. It's not like Rangers play their game in hand and will be top before the... Aye, but I mean, these people don't have brain cells, so they don't know that. So, yeah, um, there you go, guys. That's your poll, your Christmas Day special. It was kept clean for the most part, so good stuff. You know, n not too much uh, your club's deed. Not too Well, there was a wee bit of it, to be honest, and a wee bit of kiddly fiddling. But, I mean, I've seen worse in these polls. I've seen worse, and um, uh, both clubs have definitely done worse, so... Right, who's going to win the league? I think it's close to 50-50. It it's tough to decide right now. I, I think this is as close as I can ever remember the Scottish Premiership in a long time. I mean years. Momentum for Rangers since Clement came in, they're eight points clear. I'd say I'd say this is probably the closest it's been since Rangers were uh, demoted to League Two. Yep, I would agree with that. And like I said, January will be massive. I, I know people thought it was close in Ange's first season, but I always felt like they would go on and win the league. I actually don't know who's going to win the league here. I can't decide. I'm going to go on current form. It looks like Rangers, but if Celtic beat Rangers, will that kick Celtic on? Will Rangers go to shite? Celtic are due to get Hatati and Abada back soon. Will that make a difference, Maida? I don't know. How will Rangers respond to the first bad result? I think, under Ra I think Rangers are only going to get better. But like you said, how will they respond to like a defeat? I, I think Celtic. I think I think the worst is still yet to come for them. I, I do think that. I don't think they'll be. But I don't think Rogers will be back. And um, I'm going to go Rangers. But I think yeah, he, no, I think, he, I, I think he will. I think he he might be. I think he'd be less likely to be backed if they were still eight points clear. Well, absolutely. But I think the fact that this title is slipping away from them. I'm not but sure. The, 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 the Tory board at Celtic want Rangers to pocket the sixty million of the Champions League money. That's what they all say. So I mean, of course. Why the fuck would that benefit the board at Celtic? Tories. Ah, but wouldn't they want the money for themselves? Maybe. You think so? You think they want to build in that war? That's Celtic fans. They don't like the, any of their own people. I see. Stuart should have let them get at Derek Desmond. Derek Desmond. <laughs> Stuart Derek Desmond. <laughs> Stuarts. Oh, hi, Rod Stewart. What's his wee song in GTA San Andreas again? Young hearts may free. Number four. <laughs> Number 56 for Rangers. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. There you go. Bring, bring him back. Scottish Cup draw. Rod Stewart dipping in like it was fucking bins in East End of Glasgow. Just dipping in there, I hand first. Half bottle of fucking vodka. Pulling out the numbers. What number are we going to get? Is it going to be title 54 for Celtic or title 56 for Rangers? We'll find out come the end of the season. Can't wait, guys. Going to be a great run of fixtures here coming up to the new year. And then, of course, we have January. Big signings could be made. Players could come in. Players could leave. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an exciting season. And we're going to be here to watch it all the fucking way. So that's it. Catch you in the next one, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll see you for the old... F well, we'll see you before the old firm, but... Two yeah. games. Mora. Celtic play the Mora. Boxing Day special. Till next time. Peace.